Hello and welcome. This video is designed to walk you through your Module 4 Assignment 1 activity. This one is titled The Problem Solving Assignment. You have an attached file here that pretty much contains all of the directions for the assignment. I have that file pulled up here on the right hand side of the screen. However, let's read through together and then we will overview this assignment and see how to get a perfect score on this module's activity. So let's read. In this module, you have learned more about who you are as a thinker and a learner. You have defined your self-knowledge and reflected on your preferred teaching and learning strategies. You have also explored a problem-solving process which will always require the use of analytical, creative, and practical thinking skills. You will apply these concepts to this assignment. So let's see what we have in store for this assignment. Step one here, download the attached file, read the directions on that file, and provide your responses for the four sections A through D. So whenever you click this Word document, it will populate similarly to the right-hand side of the screen here. Let's match up Part A on the left-hand side of the assignment to Part A on your answer sheet. Part A, select a school-related problem that you are experiencing right now that is holding you back this semester. You're going to define the problem in one to two sentences, but then fully explain the problem with three to four additional supporting sentences. So let's have a look on the right. Here's where you're going to define your problem. This has to be a school-related problem. So do you have a D in your college algebra class? Have you missed a week of your ENC 1101 class? Are you late on your biology research paper? Find something that's currently holding you back this semester that's school-related. Define what that problem is here in just one to two sentences and then provide an additional three to five sentences that go into more supporting details about why you're going through this problem. Uh, it can also be related to picking your classes for next semester or picking a major. So even if you're passing all of your classes right now with an A, there's still something that you could be working on to solve a problem. Is there a scholarship that you want to apply for? Is there a program you want to get into? Is there a test that you have to study for but you have a elective or an intramural activity that's holding you back that you have a part-time job or a full-time job that's stopping you from putting the hours into school that you want to put in? So even if you're doing well in all your classes, still brainstorm and think of a problem that's holding you back this semester that you want to focus on for this assignment. That information will go here, part A, the problem. Then scroll down, have a look at part B. This is where you're going to come up with some solutions. Part B corresponds to part B over here on the left hand side. The directions are located in both places, so let's have a look. Use a combination of critical, creative, and practical thinking that's from your study activities for this module and determine one possible solution to the defined problem from above. Explain your solution in two to three sentences. So what's one example of a solution that you could put into play to overcome that problem? It can be an analytical solution. It can be a creative solution or a practical, putting something into play, uh, a solution. So list what that solution is here in two to three sentences, and then come up with a list of the pros and the cons for that solution. Most times, Every solution you come up with has a list of good traits about that solution, but there's usually a trade-off. For example, if you spend less hours at work, you'll have more time to study for an exam, but you'll have less money to pay the bill. So there's usually a give and take with any solution. So come up with a list of at least two pros and at least two cons for the first solution that you determine, and then scroll down and come up with a second solution. So you're just brainstorming here. If you've already used an analytical solution, try to get creative with it. What's something more outside the box, something you haven't considered before that might help alleviate some of the stress re resulting from this problem. Highlight it here, explain it in two to three sentences, and this is your solution number two. Similarly to solution number one, you're going to come up with your list of pros and cons for this second solution. Make sure you have at least two pros and at least two cons before moving on to your final solution for the problem. So essentially, you're going to repeat this step three times on part A with solution one that we saw, solution two, and now solution three. This is your third alternative to overcoming this problem. Again, define it here and explain it in two to three sentences before moving down and coming up with your list of pros and cons. 
Whenever you're thinking of these solutions, make sure they're realistic. For example, if you have bills to pay, if you have a car payment, if you have a family to take care of, you, a, an option can't just be, I'll quit my job. Or a solution shouldn't just be, I'll never hang out with my friends again. Be realistic. What's a step that you could put in place that would still make sense in the rest of your world? So what makes sense to you and what's a practical solution to overcoming this problem? Have three of those and make sure you have your list of pros and cons. And that will take us down to part C. So part C, you're going to pick one of the solutions from part B. So you had three possible solutions. Which one do you want to go forward with to overcome this problem? It's also an option to choose a combination of multiple solutions. Maybe you'll take a little bit of each. If so, just explain why you decided to take that route. So pick your solution and explain in two to three sentences why your choice is the best option for overcoming the problem that you identified. You'll have that answer here in section C of your assignment. Make sure you explain not only what solution you pick, but why that's the best solution for you. The more honest your answer, the easier it is for your instructor to give you full credit. So be honest. Lastly, move down to part D. So you identified a problem. You came up with multiple solutions. You weighed the pros and the cons for each. Of those solutions, you took the best of each one and you came up with a selection going forward of how you're going to overcome that problem. A lot of students have trouble taking the first step. So what do you do first? That's what Part D is all about. You're going to create a SMART goal that you can achieve by the end of this module, by the end of Module 4, that will get you started towards overcoming your problem. If you forgot what a SMART goal looks like, be sure to revisit Module 2, Study Activity 2. That will tell you more about the SMART goal standard of how to write a SMART goal. But focus your SMART goal on how to get started with the plan that you just put into place. So for example, by the end of this week or by next Monday, what specifically are you going to do to put the wheels in motion to begin the process of overcoming this problem? Again, don't let this just be an assignment that you submit just for work, just to get your 25 points. Make it be an assignment that's actually going to help you get over something that you need to achieve in your life, that you desire to achieve in your life. The assignments only are beneficial to you if you make them beneficial. And you've got to do the work regardless, so you might as well do it on something that's going to benefit you. So what's a problem that you can hope to achieve by putting a plan in place, breaking it apart, starting with a SMART goal, and taking steps to overcome the problem that is in front of you? So consider that before determining your problem. But once you have finished the assignment, be sure to save it in the appropriate format. Whenever you're ready to submit, you'll click the assignment title like normal and you'll upload your file. Do be sure to have a look at the rubric for this assignment so you know you're maximizing your points and getting your 25 points. If you have any questions, reach out to your instructor. Otherwise, best of luck on your module four assignment one activity, the problem solving assignment. Thanks for watching.